Hey guys, Linda here. Come back at you with another video today. Welcome back to Adora. Hope everyone's doing okay today. As you can see, I have my reveal book box here uh, from June. Yeah, I never did get to it, <laughs> so I'm doing it today. Uh, so let's open up this and see what we got for June. Okay, we got a new little um. Hope you can see it here. New little sticker here. It said my weekend is booked. And then it got reveal book box uh, website uh, information located at the bottom of it. That's cute. And with the books, I'm gonna have to keep that. Put this open. First thing I see here. What is this? I guess this is some kind of lip gloss. A little sample and it said thank you for for your support this is from uh, Mandy Beck uh, and this is her card here oh you got oh she got two of them sta uh, stapled together on here and it has all her uh, media information below if you want to check out some of uh, uh, Mandy Beck books and stuff there you go and I gotta try that out. Some a little lip gloss. I'm I'm not even gonna try it. What is it? I, I be saying I'm not gonna try to say these names, but I be wanting to say them. Bogan Vela. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's some kind of lip gloss. It said lip sense, and it's some kind of gloss. There you go. Open this up. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, we got a bracelet here. Oh, I got this already. Cowboys are my weakness. They must be trying to get rid of They must have a lot of these they're trying to get rid of. It's from Kennedy. Kennedy it's a Kennedy Fox groupie. I haven't read anything by Kennedy. I got a book by uh, Kennedy Fox, but I haven't read it yet. So um, I got to get on that. Cowboys are my weakness. I guess I'll put it on. I think, I, like I said, I think I got another one um, like this. Got a cup holder here. What this say? Because boys. What this say? Because boys. Oh. Because boys are better in books. And that's that Melissa Toppin. That's uh, I guess this is some of Melissa Toppin swag. It's a cup holder. That's cute. We got uh, some candy here. A little candy cane thing where you can open up and um, sugar can sugar candy. You open it up and um, suck it out as sweet candy. I forgot what they call these. <laughs> but yeah, you got candy inside of it. There you go. We got a pin here, Kennedy Fox. That's cute. And I think I mentioned before I like their little logo. It's so cute. An ink pen. Who is this from? Uh, what this say here? Uh, I think I mentioned before, even though I got glasses, I still can't see. <laughs> uh, this this said Leona Lux, L-U-X-X, Queen of Redeeming Romance. Is that Redeeming Romance? I'll try to, hopefully you can see it there. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Leona or Leona Lux. And there's the little information there. Cute little pen. I hope it's a good writing pen. Next we have a, a bookmark here. Rainstorm. Um, some advertising for Susanna Mohill. The Perfect Storm series, book one. I guess this is the book one in the series, Rainstorm. That's a nice uh, book bookmark. You can use other bookmark. Next we have Catching the Cowboy bookmark. That's cute too. Yeah, I got some on the other one. Didn't have anything on the back of it, but uh, you can get it at Burns and Noble here. Go where you can uh, check the book out at right there. Catching the Cowboy. Oh, this is Kennedy Fox. I guess this go with the uh, book here. Catching the Cowboy. I love this cover. It's nice. There you go. The bookmark there. Oh, we have another. Uh, this is all about Kennedy Fox. I wonder if Catching the Cowboys is one of the books in here. 
uh, Roommate Duet series. This is also Kennedy Fox. If any of you read any of Kennedy Fox book, what is a good recommendation? Because I haven't read anything by her. But I've, I've got one of her books in the Reveal Book Box before, but I haven't read it yet. So, let me know what you think about Kennedy Fox. Always mine and always yours. I guess the book one and two, I guess. The duet. Liam and Madeline duet. Maybe it's on the same couple. I guess. But there you go. And there's their information at the bottom there. Kennedy Fox. So this is Rachel Lee Romance. Oh, this is uh Rachel Lee information here. Romance that swoon. And there's her information. This is her card here. And she signed it on the back. And there's her um, media information there if you want to check out any of her books. Oh, and I guess you can get a free book at this right here. You can check that out uh, if, you, if any of you want to try it out. You can check out, uh, get a free copy of Take Me Away. There you go. And what is, this is a sticker here. He's a royal pain in the... <laughs> and what is it? Hired Lines? Hired Lines? Oh, Aired. Air line. He's an air air lines. There you go. And the first book I have here is Cold Hearted Baller. So yeah, this is a uh, look like gonna be a sports romance. So I will be checking this out. And this is uh, by Logan. Oh, Logan Chance writing as Logan. Okay. There you go. Let's see if we got a um. Oh, and then I also got a uh, book card in here, or a bookmark. Logan Chance, Hopeless Romantic with a Dirty Mind. Quit a strip. And there's all Logan Chance information. And <laughs> look, we got to keep it dirty. Okay. So, this, does this mean this book going to be hot and steamy? <laughs> And there's the uh, chapter. That's how the chapter is going to look there. Nothing fancy or anything. And let's read the back of this. I have three superstitions I live by. Number one, no dating all season. Number two, don't jinx a no hitter while one's in progress. Number three, be cold hearted. If you find something you think about more than baseball, destroy it. Kalabi Thomas is one of those things. Ever since she left a bad review on the max energy on the max energy drink I endorse, I haven't been able to stop thinking about her. Obviously, when she said she hoped I had a losing season, I had to meet her and get her to take the words back. Now she's making me do insane things like obsess over the color of her <laughs> panties or if I can make her blush. Read Superstition 1. I don't do this sort of thing. I play ball, not chase after a woman I barely know, but I am, and she wants nothing to do with me. She thinks I'm the devil, and I have to say she makes me want to sin. I'm becoming a borderline stalker, and to make matters worse, she's affecting my game. I can't pitch, I can't hit, I can't focus. Something's ne something needs to give, and it won't be me. Cold heart. Look, this sound. This sound very, very interesting. I hope this is good. It sound interesting, so I gotta check it out. Cold hearted baller. And there's the cover there. So okay, cover. It didn't catch me. What you know? Sometimes you look at a cover, and you be like, wow, yeah, it's okay, cover. Next, I have Kristen Callahan, dear enemy. Uh oh, what's this about? Oh my goodness, and it's a thick one too. Oh, how many pages was in this one? This one's not that thick. Let's see how many pages is in here. Let's see here. And it's some big writing too. So maybe that's why it's got a lot of about 200 some pages. Um 238. Well, that's where the story ends. Two on page 238. 238 pages. And then you got some acknowledgments. And uh, some other books about this author. If you want to check those out. And let's look at this one. Like I said, Dear Enemy by Kristen Callahan. I've never read anything by Kristen Callahan before. She also got the little um, 
I keep forgetting what they call this with them when they put them in the books like this, but there's the, her uh, signature on the little plate here. It's some kind of plate, I think they call this, but there you go. And let's see what the cover, I mean, the chapters are. Oh, it's just a regular chapter. Just regular chapters in here. And let's see how many pages we got here. Uh, there's something about the author, acknowledgments. And it ends on page 381, so there's 300 and some pages. Yeah. It's got a little epilogue in here, 300 and some pages. So let's read this. He was the last person, he was the last person, person she'd ever fall for. As kids, they, uh -oh, they knew each other already. I think I'm in, uh, yeah, I don't like when they know each other already, but hey, I'm going to go with it. As kids, they hated each other. Malcolm Sank was beautiful, but despite his name, Delilah knew he was the devil. That he dated her slightly evil sister, Samantha. Okay, this is going to be, he dated her sister, and then they're going to end them together. Okay. I ain't too much on them scenarios either when the person I read and went with the sister before and then ends up with the others. Yeah, okay. I'm getting all off track. Let me start all over. He was the last person she'd ever fall for. As kids, they hated each other. Mason Saint was beautiful, but despite his name, Delilah knew he was the devil. That he dated her slightly evil sister, Samantha, was no picnic either. When they broke up, it was a dream come true. Delilah never had to see him again. Ten years later, her old enemy sends a text. Delilah's sister has stolen a valuable heirloom from Mason. Now a rising Hollywood star and he intends to collect his due. One problem, Sam has skipped town. Sparks still sizzle between Mason and Delilah, only this heat feels alarmingly like unwanted attraction. But Delilah is desperate to keep her weak-hearted mother from learning of her sister's theft. So she proposes a deal. She'll pay off the debt by being Mason's personal chef and assistant. It's a recipe for disaster. But Mason can't stop himself from accepting. Even though Delilah clearly hates him, there's something about her that feels like home. Besides, there are no longer kids. And what once was a bitter rivalry has the potential to be something sweeter. Something like forever. Okay. I hope when I start reading it, I hope it catches my attention. Because, like I said, sometimes I read the back here and I'm already against the book already. <laughs> but I think I'm going to give it a try. Uh, the song, it sounds interesting, so I think I'll give it a try. Dear Enemy by Christian Callahan. And there's the book there. Published by Mount Lake. Down there. Okay. And then we got, I sure want to read this one, Cold Hearted Baller by well, Logan Chance writing as Logan. So I got to check this out, see what's going on with that. So let's put all this stuff back in here. Put it back in here. Got some pretty good books uh, this time. I'll leave my candy out there. Put all this back in here. And that's it on the reveal book box there. I hope you all enjoyed it. Even though I know we in a uh, we got the COVID going on, and but I still want to get my reveal book box. I don't know how long I'm gonna keep getting it. I'll just get it until I can't get it no more. I guess. Because I still want to get the books. I enjoy getting them. I enjoy uh, finding out what books they have in there for me this every month. So I'll still continue to get them as long as I can. Hopefully, um, I'll still be able to, to get the reveal book box. Because I really, really enjoy them. I really, really uh, like getting, like I said, I like getting that surprise every month of finding out what books they've uh, chosen for me. But that's all I have for now. Until next time, keep reading those romances and I'll see you all later. Bye.